Hey guys, welcome back to Aurora Graphics. This week we're going to be showing how to color match a logo to a graphic. Uh, this is actually going to be a pretty fast tutorial. Uh, very useful though. If you haven't checked out our other video on color management yet, you may want to jump over there after you're finished with this and uh, figure out how to set up your workspace. The color management policies that we use are directly related to and in conjunction with the print profiles that you'll use on a wide format inkjet printer. So if you're building vehicle wraps and things like that, uh, you'll definitely want to check out those color management settings. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. Uh, so very simply, you may, have, you may have put these two and two together from the first video we did on, on pattern overlays and then the last video that we just put out on, on color changing. If you combine the two methods and use a color instead of a pattern overlay, you can actually get an exact color replica on any type of a design. Um, especially if your customer comes in and says, oh, hey, I, I really like that look. But, you know, we don't, for instance, have that color specifically for sale. This will this will help you out a lot. Um, and so I've just got our Bush Wolf logo open here. And the image that we're using this week is the reactor image. I'll also put a link in the description below for that. Um, so very simply, if you zoom into a portion of the logo, wherever the color it is that you're trying to match, it really doesn't matter what color it is, uh, you can grab your eyedropper tool here and just literally go out into the meat of the color where you've got a nice solid chunk and click and you'll see that this color popped up in our color picker here uh, and so now we can take and create a new layer over here and just like when we did our pattern overlay well let's go ahead and use the paint bucket here I'll just dump this color into uh, the new layer that we created layer 10 and then what I'm gonna do is change this blending option to one of these different choices. It, depending on what kind of look you're going for, it, it could be anything. Um, so when I zoom out, you can tell that it's obviously mixing the orange with the blue. So what we'll do is turn off this orange real quick. And under image adjustments, we'll go ahead and desaturate this blue layer. And now when you turn on the orange, it turns the entire image orange. Uh, you, can, you can manipulate this the, the look, the brightness and things like that by changing your, your different blending options and getting exactly what you're looking for. Uh, the other option is just like I showed in the pattern overlay video is under image adjustments. Uh, use your, your levels tool here. And so you can see by just sliding the white slider I get a brighter color and sliding the black slider I get a darker color. And uh, so essentially that's, that's all it takes to, to color match a, a logo. Um, you know, if you've got multiple colors in a logo, you can use a gradient instead of a instead of a solid color fill like this. Um, but really, that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, thanks again for joining us. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment if you can. If you've got any uh, questions or or anything about what we've talked about here in any of our previous videos, I do get back on there and and respond as much as I possibly can. So go ahead and uh, leave me any questions that you may have. Also, check out our Facebook page. We'll see you next week.